Welcome back to He Say, She Say. I'm your host, Haley, and today I have my viral buddy in the building. See, legal for the people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I'm looking this way, it's because we all got a TV here, but it's see, legal for the people. I'm in the building. You yeah, dig? Let's talk about it. No. First of all, <laughs> I, before we get into anything, what the fuck do you have on? We're going to get into that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got another special guest. Introduce yourself, King. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Amari Jones, you dig? You know what I'm saying? Professional boxer, 12 and 0, 11 knockouts. Boy, that nigga well, sound like um, a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> your boy, check your boy out. Boy, that nigga sound like a rapper, I boy. Do I could be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? It. Just like that. So what you what you ask me? What do you have on? Why what's up with the show them your boots? Like you know, I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on here. You know, uh, you know, I was just running errands. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving shit show today for You me. know what I'm saying? I was just running errands. You know, it's a new sheriff in town. I'm gonna keep rushing shout out to the snow that just shows up on me in Jamba Juice. She wrote <laughs> Her little enjoy your drink on the top of my drink. True story, nigga. She was ready. Shout out to the did snow. She, did she give you, you know her number? Did she give you her number? Nah, she didn't, but okay. she wrote enjoy it. That was she choosing. Choose nothing. En enjoy it was choosing. Is, is that choosing? Enjoy it on the top of the drink? No. That's choosing. No, it's not. Cause she could have just gave me my drink with the straw. Like, get the fuck up out of here. Did she have a googly eyes? Yeah, she was looking. She seen the outfit. She was looking. Shout out to the snow. They fuck she with me. She's doing her job. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, how's everybody feeling? You good? I'm great. Yeah, you almost halfway through that drink already. We ain't even, we just intro. Come that's, on, just slow down now. Mean. You nervous or something? No, not at all. But that get that gets the the real shit flowing, you know? Okay. All right, come on. Let's get a look. Come on. We, this is about to be a all, shit show. It's I normally do cards, but Seeley has his own. So Thank we're going to use his today. Let's check out the Seeley Live card game. Redropping in September, September 1st. Sold out the first time. You don't want to miss it. Let's talk about it. Lie, we? I ain't even ready for them cards. Oh, you're watch this. Ready. Oh, you're going to be ready. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you're going to be ready. Get ready so you ain't got to be ready. You yeah. dig? Stay ready. True. Before we in the hot, let them know how old are you? I'm 22. Oh, this is a young nigga. A baby. Oh, this is a, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, this is going to I get that all the time. I get that all the time. Oh, you up here with auntie and unk. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we on some OG auntie. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no auntie. Uh, come on now. You graduated like 04. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did not. Oh, you, you, shit. He's trying to come for me. He, he definitely <laughs> coming for me. Because what year you graduated? 87? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Um, You ready? I'm ready. Who's going to pull the first card? One of y'all. We're going to start with Mari. Mari, you pull, pull the first card. It don't matter where I pull from. Boy, mm -hmm. just pull. Just pull it and let's get into it. If someone cheats, does that mean they do not love you? <laughs> let's start with the lady. No. Look at her cheat her ass. Oh. Where them Oakland females be <laughs> cheating like a mother? Don't start that. Ah. Do not start. Hey, you got a cheater a cheater. spirit. I don't do that. But I will say that. No, that doesn't mean that a person don't love you because they cheat on you. Like, especially niggas, because niggas just be doing things. Just All right. Doing things. So, are you in a situation yeah. right now? Oh my god! Oh. Why do we gotta talk? About I, I'm just asking. Just, it just, I'm just asking. We all got situations. I'm, I'm in a situation. I'm gonna keep it real. Me too. Okay, is it cheating if you on the back of a nigga bike in downtown Oakland, them dirt bike niggas, and he whoom, First of all, whoom. you would never catch me on the back of a nigga dirt bike downtown Oakland. <laughs> I'm going to be hot like, for sure. I catch is, is that cheating? I ain't going to say it's cheating, but you crossing the line, though. You you definitely crossing the line. That's out. Bitch, you better not ever get yeah, on no one of these the niggas' line. bikes. You better not even give a, get, pump a nigga gas. You better not do nothing. You better not yeah. even blink at one of them biker niggas. Them niggas is ruthless. Be what? be careful with them biker what niggas. Them niggas will fuck your bitch. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Don't think it's just willies. What them you niggas be the biker doing niggas willies and cartwheels all in your bitch six ways to Sunday. Them niggas no, is out here bro. fucking... You know what I'm saying? That's the no. biker nigga no. that's the is right there. fucking. Really? What? Them niggas is getting all the pussy. That's why they be downtown Oakland with a ski mask <laughs> on and some Jordan 4s. <laughs> Them that's niggas be having mask. some Jordan 4s or some Jordan 1s on oh and some stacked God. jeans with that goddamn loud ass dirt bike fucking your bitch. You dig? Be careful. That's how you pull up to your bitch house. <laughs> <laughs> Amar, have you ever cheated before? Um, I think everybody has cheated. Define cheating, though. Every Ooh. nigga say that. 
Oh, have, have you ever tested the waters of, a, you know, why you was in a relationship, seeing if you still had action? <sighs> of course. Yeah. He's a nigga. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have. But to the extent of fucking another bitch while I'm with somebody, no. But I definitely. Believe, I don't believe that. No, I swear I haven't. I haven't. For real? Yeah, I haven't. Are you in a relationship right now? Um. Oh yeah. You, you had, nah, you nah, 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 nah. See, I I would say it's over, but I, I ain't gonna. Okay, say it's complicated. Yeah, it's it's complicated. It's complicated. Who fought? Was it hers or yours? His. It was mine. It was. Mine. <laughs> I caught it. it. Mine. it was you mine. got caught, or you you snitched on yourself? A little bit of both. But you just say you never cheated. No, I just said he asked that I um that I retest the waters. I said yeah, but. You didn't, didn't fuck. Yeah, I didn't fuck no other oh, bitch. Okay. You should have. Yeah. Shit. I mean, but, at this I mean, point, yeah. shit that just went that on. Nigga should have at this point. Wait a minute, because that be the issue. Like, yeah. niggas think, oh, because I didn't fuck her, I didn't cheat on you. But women don't think like that. Women think you're having conversation with this woman every day. You're, you know, intimately talking to her. Though. You're cheating on me. That don't mean like, nothing. Like, not, it don't have to be sex in order for it to be cheating. Nah, because I ain't going to lie. I'm the type of nigga, like, I can have a conversation with you and I won't even... Ever fuck you or nothing. I'm so stupid. True story, right hand to God. It was a bunch of rich niggas from the Bay on a boat this weekend, and I seen a woman I used to deal with, and I thought I seen her. I sent her a voice message like, bitch, you on a boat with these niggas? These niggas got jewelry and chains on, you groupie ass bitch. And she wasn't even on the boat. I was mad as fuck. Bitch, what the fuck you, you got you going on? What? I thought you had it. What? I thought you had the upper you? hand. Yeah, Did don't... you apologize? Nope. Showed I wasn't wrong. She was like, I wasn't on no boat. You tripping. You was wrong. She wasn't even there. It, look, it was a bitch that looked like her. That's too much. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to keep it real because it was a tat like on a bitch arm and she all twerking in front of the rich niggas. I was like, oh, no, we're not doing this. Uh-uh. Did you apologize? Absolutely not. I, I went smooth off in a voice Enter note. Send her a text message <laughs> right now and apologize to her. Hey. I got to get some more money. Boy, them rich niggas, them, the, the biker niggas and them jewelry niggas, oh, yeah, they crack your bitch quick, too. Fly her out to Houston, all type of shit. Take her to Turkey Leg Hut. <laughs> Fuck your bitch six ways to Sunday. <laughs> them niggas is cold. What's up with and I want I want niggas in the bay to stop lying. You niggas be spending money on these women. I no. want I want I want niggas to stop lying uh, about they that. Don't. Where did that come from? Everybody in the bay think they a pimp. Everybody in the they mama you think they breaking the Niggas like, think they. I ain't some gonna pimping. lie though. We need to get back. We need to get back to that era though. What era? The educate. Pimping? Huh? What era? Yeah, educate. The pimping, the pimping era. <laughs> no, we do not. <laughs> yeah, we need to get back to that era. <laughs> Hey, these niggas, no, hey, I'm sorry. Hey, these niggas out here fucking I don't want to fuck with a nigga that's a pimp. Nah, I ain't saying he got to be a pimp, but the 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 morals, you know what I'm saying, that niggas used to stand on when it comes to the females, they ain't standing on them no more. Absolutely not. They not. And, they, and it's fucking up the game for the niggas that's trying to live by the real morals that we're supposed to be living by. You know what I'm saying? So... For sure. Lead that, lead all that tricking and all that to them. Wait, what's downside. wrong with tricking? <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? What's wrong with tricking? I ain't gonna say it's not wrong, but if it's your lady, it's your lady. You tricking? You know I'm saying yeah. that's cool, but but if lead, it's not your lady, yeah, that's come on. You 22. What's tricking for a 22 year old? Right, you're a what's baby. Tricking? Like, what would you consider tricking? You like, if you take a woman to the movies, nah. you know what I'm saying, and you take her out to Roof Chris or something, is that tricking? Okay, so look, my philosophy with that, some things, my I, I got homies that's still super young minded that might say like you taking a bitch out to eat to a nice restaurant is tricking, right? That's but, not. But sorry, but see me, I'm gonna eat regardless. So you can come eat with me, or you not. But that's at the end game. of the day, I'm gonna eat good regardless. That's some good game. So for sure. That's that. But now, when you go to the extent of taking this bitch to the mall, Why cashing she out. Why you to be a bitch? No. Nah, I mean, come that's on. Just, I, that's how we talking to yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you go to the extent of doing all that, you know what I mean? And she finna go and leave you and go be with somebody else, then that's tricking. Uh, you know? I agree with you. A thousand percent agree with you. But I, I would be lying if I say I don't want to do that one day. I want to do. Wanna I want to take a woman to the mall and like get, get what you want. Oh, you I, never did that before. Fuck no. I, I just started getting money. I, mean, what I, the I, I was too broke to do I, some I, shit. I, I do like that too. I do that too. But on my lady, not uh, just on somebody you fucking. Yeah, hell no. Nah. I want to try that on, on my lady, obviously. But I want to try some like real hardcore, you know, Harvard University trick. Have a lady. I got a situation. That's the best thing going. That relationship shit is dead. Leave that shit alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that relationship shit is. Leave that relationship shit alone. You know what I'm saying? That's the devil's work. What's wrong with a relationship? Like, that's Um, why shit is fucked up right now. Because nobody want to be in a relationship. Everybody want to be in a situation. Because relationships relationships. require a lot of sacrifice and we live in a selfish era. 
We um, definitely do. We are the show. selfish. And not women sure. refuse to make any compromise. We got to compromise and do all that yeah. shit. That's not true. Nah. And That's then the moment true. a nigga requires, the moment you a nigga has some standards, right now. the moment a nigga has some requirements, then it's, you controlling, you narcissistic, you all that. Listen, yeah, though, cool. y'all requirements be on another level. Like, if we required the same shit that y'all required, y'all would be gone. All right, t- tell me some requirements you, you think a nigga has. I don't want to elaborate. Yeah, because you a motherfucking <laughs> East Oakland cheater. That's why. You know what I'm saying? Cheating like a like, motherfucker. I don't feel like I got too many requirements for somebody to be feeling some. So what would be a requirement, like, for you? Kill for your, your baby daddy. Delete that nigga off the face of the earth. That's my first requirement. You always delete do that. your punk first ass, all, <laughs> broke ass, bum ass baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Cuz the nigga ain't with the baby mama no more. You know what I'm saying? So somebody fucked up and she gonna blame him. So I'm gonna go off her word. The nigga's a bum. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Delete that motherfucking baby daddy. I don't want that nigga having no say so on what I got going on. As soon as I check his kid, I don't want you ain't my daddy. Man, fuck your daddy. Do what I say, dude. That's how I feel. Why <laughs> you have no respect for the child, the mom. The that daddy. shit is so weak. I'm going to keep it real. That baby daddy shit is so weak. And, sh- and it's even worse when the nigga's a good ass father because that nigga's just always. Why would that be worse? Because the nigga's always there. Like, bro, get the He's fuck there for his away child. from my family. <laughs> Nigga always in communication with his That's baby mama. Oh, we got oh, a dentist God. appointment on Tuesday. Tuesday, oh, we got soccer practice Thursday. Hell you know what? Y'all need to be back together, all this motherfucking communication. It's that called, shit weak. Called parenting. Hell like, no. well, be back together parenting. No, and that shit weak. Like, no, no, no. that shit sound hey, good. That me shit weak. That a healthy co parenting relationship means they need to be back together? Yes. No, it doesn't. Because not. it's almost impossible to start a new relationship. Because let me be serious for two seconds. When, a, when you're dealing with a good father, that means you have no say so over the kid that you protect and provide and preparing. You don't have no say so in the schooling and the sports and the discipline and nothing. All you do is pay for shit. That's weak. Trust me. I'm this is I'm not speaking from outside looking in. This He's is first hand experience. You know what I'm saying? That's He's weak. Speaking from experience. That's selfish. That's I mean, very selfish. Shit. Because why can't you co parent and be you know, let the dad do what he gonna do? Like what's why do you need him not to Well, there? he should pay half this goddamn rent then. Pay half this rent. Make sure you keep our refrigerator full. You do all that. You can do what the fuck you want to do. But as long as I'm paying shit around this motherfucker, fuck you. Shut up, nigga. This is how I'm running this organization. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like some niggas don't even like they, they kids listening to hip hop music and ratchet shit. I'm not turning off Young Jeezy because you don't want your son to hear this. I don't give a fuck about what you talking about. Trap or die, little nigga. What? That's what we own. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What is wrong? Not turning shit he off ruthless. of your kid. What is wrong this with nigga you? Ruthless, this nigga ruthless. He is insane. That's, Mr. 17 5 around this That's month. on another level. Like, come on now. I can't. You see? Oh, God. Trap or die, little nigga. Like, what? <laughs> Why would you say that? Why? He, oh, he man. He the definition Pull a card, of uh, 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 Rodney. Let's pull a card. Ooh, is cheating forgivable? Do you believe in cheating back? I tried that shit. It don't work. Cheating back? Forgive my bitch for cheating. I ain't going, oh man, I don't even want to tell that story. We can move on. That was a traumatizing one. It was? Ooh, I cried. Right hand of God. <laughs> ooh, that shit hurt so bad. Them Antioch, oof. Do you remember the shit. last episode? I think I told you, you're traumatized. What? I can acknowledge it. This shit hurt. You ain't never got cheated on? Like, real life, you real know deal? Times I done been cheated on. Come on now. But she a, she a female, though. Niggas are niggas. I done been cheated on a, a lot of times. Nah, but I, I, I feel like when a female cheat, they, they feelings be involved. It's, no, it's I a, always say that. It's and a, that's it's not a, true. It's, it's, it's some not type even of true. Better. Why nah. can't a female be like, oh, she just want to go fuck somebody with no feelings? Like, why do nah, it? Nah, because cause in order for y'all shit to get to get wet and all that, it gotta be some type of, type of emotions. <laughs> like, true. you know what I'm saying? It gotta be some type of you got trucked with a little alcohol involved. The like, nigga that stimulated y'all a certain weight, you know what I'm saying, for y'all to go, a female, I ain't gonna lie, a nigga could walk down the street, see a fat ass, and nigga might shit get up like this. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be vulnerable for two seconds. I'm you know gonna tell a story. So, I ain't, I didn't even tell you last time. Okay, tell me. I was now. doing some relationship tricking. I, for Valentine's Day, I bought my lady a ticket to Vegas so she can go to Vegas and enjoy it with her friends. Without you? Without me. Do okay. your thing. Mm-hmm. Got back and fucked her coworker and dumped me. Oh my gosh, uh-huh. that shit hurt it so bad. Her coworker. Fucked her coworker and dumped me. 
Cold. Did you ask for your money back? Because I would have. Like, bitch, give me my money back. I don't like, ask for ever, ever bought you back. Are you kidding me? That shit hurt it so bad. I'm like, oh, shit. But that's let me let me crime. let me just keep it real. I was cheating that's too, though. That's amazing. Still crime. hurt it. Wait though. a minute. Did she Still know hurt you it though. Cheating? She didn't know I was actually. I think she did. Oh no. Okay, she, she then that don't phone? even. Mm -mm. I'm about to tell you. It's because it's some shit that's worse than going through the phone. See, in Antioch, we be having I don't like understand groups. Why people go through phones. Like so, you like your girl might be cool like with all your friends, mm -hmm. girls and shit like that, and they all kick mm -hmm. it. So if I tell my partner something, he pillow talking, I'm like, man, I just got some good ass head the other day. You know what I'm saying? The sack joint came out here, sucked me crazy. This nigga pillow talking Why to his girl, and that? she tell my girl, found out. It's the same way females be telling the business. When you get some good head, you gotta call so, somebody so and say, like, ooh, man, that head is good. Like nah, it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't like that, that's though. That's what it's giving. Nah, well, that's not it, gossiping. It, if it, I tell my friend about a good experience, yeah, that's what more you do so, with your friends. Yeah, it's more so put your pun on. He might want to go try it, see the experience with himself. You ain't never got no sack head before? That's some shit to talk about. Sack? Sacramento. Them just got the best head on the galaxy. It's like they live to suck dick. No, I'm, actually, I'm man, wrong. I don't there are some dick, dick hey, sucking motherfuckers in sack. Do, do it count if she go to school in sack? Or she got to be that, Nah, because if she in sack for longer than six months, she going to learn how to suck a dick. Oh, yeah, Excuse then, me. Then, then, they suck some dick in you sack. You just asked me if I had some... <laughs> <laughs> them sack holes, boy. They a gobble a dick down. They just... <laughs> woo, shout out to sack. That shit is dangerous. That shit, how you middle of the night, one in the morning, the back roads, dark as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? On the yeah, highway. One got me on, on, on the way there. We was in the car together. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's sad. Y'all almost crashed. Y'all almost crashed. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> almost crashed. Oh, about Scandia and in out Burger and all that yeah. shit. Oh, that shit crazy. Hey, yeah, fucking no. with her out. It's hey, no. you're going to see me on the news with the car flipped over on a, on a go-kart track. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pull another card. Oh, this is a good one. If you dated someone for a year and they couldn't say, I love you, would you end the relationship? Would you end it if you was dating a woman for a year and she was like, I don't know if I love you yet? A year, three hundred and sixty-five days, twelve months. See me, I ain't gonna 52 lie. weeks. I wouldn't. I wouldn't just because I ain't saying it first. So <laughs> what? She gotta say it first. Why? So if it, so if it take you a year, I don't want to look stupid. I don't want to be the one to look stupid. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna take a drink today. <laughs> A year, cause but you go I'm a year with somebody else and they love young, you. No, I'm still young. Absolutely you know not. Niggas love me in two weeks. Like, what do I? Why? What is we waiting a year for? If you can't, tell, if you don't love me in three days, bitch, we don't got nothing to talk about. I ain't gonna lie, your lamb chops do be looking good as fuck. <laughs> They hella good. They hella good. Them lamb chops like, be looking good as a motherfucker. A year. Woo we. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real. You got you got about 90 days to tell me you love me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm fucking you raw and eating your pussy, bitch. You better fall in love. You know what I'm saying? 90 days, she gotta have a, a little longer probation period for me to eat it. How long? What? <laughs> Wait, How long did it take huh? for you to eat some pussy? Wait a minute, huh? <sighs> Man, gotta be four months. What? Four this months? nigga's crazy. Oh, Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's some 22 year old shit to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. He, that's why he's a kid. Yeah, what? I'm no, still. You gotta think. Months? You gotta think. Four months. I'm still. You know what I'm saying? Doing what I do. She probably still doing what she do. And nigga, bitches shower. Hopefully. You know what I mean, shit. I eat some pussy ass for four hours. It really don't matter to me. I, Cause what? you're just nasty. That's Ooh. why. No, I'm a grown ass man. I've been having sex since 2004. When you've been fucking for that long, it's like you know what? How old was you in 2004? I was old. I was old in 2004. No, nah, I was a young nigga. I was a young nigga. <laughs> I was a real young nigga in 2004. I was getting jiggy. Child to Deer Valley High School. Oh, Which man. You was like 14? Hell no. 15? Nah, I was younger than that. I was jiggy, though. Y'all got me reminiscing. All right, all right. Oh, when did God. I first eat some pussy? <laughs> yeah, I've been, yeah, I been, yeah. I'm eating pussy, though. I don't, I don't see how why y'all niggas don't do it. How old was you when you first started getting busy? <sighs> 12. Yeah, I was early. It was early. Yeah, I, was I ain't gonna early. lie. My my first experience, I was like twelve. Twelve. Was she older or younger? Crazy. She was older than me. She wasn't that. She was like I don't think I was seventh grade. She was eighth grade. Where you? Where was you at? Um, I was at a park. I was on Kiska Road, a San Francisco, park. California. Yeah. That's common for young niggas to do fucking at parks. Yeah. 
That's very common, actually. We not you fuck anywhere, so we not finna talk to you. <laughs> no, nah, like, I wasn't fucking. I wasn't you wanna fucking. fuck at Target? You, you done fucked at the she, park? You done fucked outside? Like we not talking about you. You just do anything. Spontaneous. I like spontaneous. So you you like ate her, you ate her pussy at the park? You was just getting some head? Hell no. I was getting some head. I was getting some head. So at 22 years old, how much pussy have you ate? Like more than 10? No, Hell not no. if he said he don't even Hell eat pussy no. until four months. How much pussy have you ate at 22 years old? Two, three. Oh, exactly. nigga, come on now. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, man. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hit a lot of shit, though. I didn't hit a lot of shit. You didn't ate a lot of shit, too. No, come no, on no, now. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I ain't going to lie. My girl, when I, just, when I was just in a relationship, I probably ate her shit. I don't know. How long was y'all together? We've been together, like, we started probably, like, a year ago. Mm-hmm. And then, like, she was, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was doing me still. Like, she was doing her for some months. And then, eventually, we, like, locked down. I'd probably say, like, after, like, five months or something. Mm-hmm. So, i say we was probably together, like, nine Do you months. think a 22-year-old woman could be faithful? Wait, is yeah. she 22, too? No, nah, she's not 22. How old is she? She was 20. She's 24. 24. She's still young too. Though. Still young, still very young. For sure. Can can are they are they faithful that young? They could be. I was gonna say that. It, they could yeah. be. I don't trust I was nobody faithful under twenty five. Under twenty five, you still lying like a motherfucker. You think so? Yeah. Because they still I care agree. about their image and how people gonna view them. Yeah. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they now now they could they, they stop giving a fuck. They they could be they could be faithful, but you know sometimes they. So was you be. faithful? I feel like for the most part. For the most part. For the most part, I was faithful. That's until a no. And, 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 no, until I got until I got caught doing what I was doing. Speaking, but, of, you know what I'm saying. What's that? Speaking of that, have you ever forgot somebody you had sex with? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody from before, forgotten. No, nah, for sure. How many niggas was you fucking to forget? Ah, damn. But I mean, you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking play with you. Do not don't start with me. I, y'all, y'all. Now you can genuinely forget somebody you've been with. I can't. I can't do it. You forgot before? For sure. Thank you. Yo, For wow. Sure. Like what? I forgot be in love. I completely. Can't. Bro, I didn't hear shit. I didn't hear shit in. I'm Miami. like Miami. Really I didn't hear shit though, in like Texas, New York. I didn't hear all t- different states. This is I ain't never. Think about calling again ever ever in life. Like one night stands or yeah. Oh, see no, <laughs> that's on another level. Yeah, so I'm, I forgot. I don't even know her name. Forgetting is crazy. Like forgetting their name, like you know. Forget. I couldn't tell you right now. Like oh, that was her name. Oh yeah, I remember. Nah, I don't know. Oh yeah, no. I you ain't. fucked her raw? No, 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 no. I don't got none no. of that going on. Oh, you still wearing hater bags? Sucks what for the you, fuck brother. is a, a hater bag? <laughs> not on the one night stand, no. Hell Sucks no. Sucks for you. I mean, How many one night stands have you had? I can't say. You can't say. That's crazy. At twenty two. I've been doing this since I was, you know, I've been twelve. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it too, because nah, boxers nah, have really, different kind of access. Really, 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 really fucking. I've been, I've been really fucking since I was like 16, 15, 16. Mm-hmm. But like moving around with the one night stands and all that, probably yeah. since I was like eighteen. Mm-hmm. I was like eighteen. I start, I started really. Going to Miami, New York, in the club, yeah. Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Houston. I, I was going everywhere. LA. I'm saying I was going everywhere. What's one of your favorite places you visited? Um, definitely Miami. I love Miami. Miami for sure. It's like my second home. Uh after that, Atlanta. Um, then I go New York, Houston. Now I go like I put LA. LA on there, but LA. Me, I don't like LA because LA be like, everybody try to be too like upper echelon. Like, yeah, I hear that a lot like, about LA. Yeah, they too lot. phony. Like, I hear, I hear that a lot. Knock it off. Me. Everybody want to be next to the to the to the lot. nigga nigga or to the person. Like, knock it off. You don't even know them like that. They don't even know you. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Mm. So you spend like hella time training on your free yeah. time. Like, what do you be doing? Yeah. Um. Fucking bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just I was in a relationship. I was in a relationship. But, but you're not no more, right? I mean that that's that's fresh. So now okay. right now I ain't been doing nothing. I just been training. So my free time, mm-hmm. if I'm out of a relationship, I'd probably just be traveling, shopping a little bit, um, messing with the family. Mm-hmm. 
Not nothing too crazy. You said it's fresh. Would you be mad if she fucked another nigga? Of course. But, but would but you be hurt? I can't, but I can't be mad. You can't be. Right. So because if you, you found out up. she fucked another nigga, you would you would would you say something to her? No. What can he say? He fucked up. What? That's just still his bitch. No, no it's not. Man. That's nah. the problem right there. Like how long y'all been broken up? Hmm. Probably like Two months or something. Oh yeah, that's still your bitch. It take a year. It's not. It take a, a, it take a year. Who yeah, after that. Where you gonna take a year at? That's still your hey, bitch. You better not fuck another nigga. You better say something. Where you gonna take a year? I ain't gonna lie though. Where? Everywhere. I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't gonna lie though. Like, I ain't gonna lie. It's like, it's like you could be mad, right? But, but you can't. You can't be mad. You better than me. You should send her a voice message, bitch. Do not you do bet not that. fuck another nigga. Do I'm coming back. Don't do we that. We going through something right now, but Don't keep them legs that. closed. But then, then again, it go to the extent of how y'all left off too, though. Like, I feel. Yeah. Did you love her? Of course. Oh, yeah. You better. Yeah. Uh-uh. Ain't no fucking no other niggas until I'm over it. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey. hey. Well, all you think about is yourself. You know, it's part of the game. Life is selfish. You Sometimes you got to do it like that. Sometimes you got to establish dominance over things you love because motherfuckers don't know. Because sometimes women, I'm going to keep it real. Sometimes women, y'all be doing shit not knowing what y'all doing. Y'all just go out, see another nigga that's cute and give up the pussy. And now I'm mad. Ooh, like, what, 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 what women is you talking about? <laughs> don't, don't act holier than now on the show. You didn't see any nigga you liked and fucked him before. Like, oh, he's cute and gave him some pussy. No. Cute? What the fuck is cute going to do for me? You didn't been a hello like stranger. That? Seen a nigga you liked. Hello, stranger. You never like, had a one night stand? Come on now. You never had a one night stand? No. Because one night stand is like meeting somebody and then going home and fucking them, yeah. right? Yeah. No. Are you I've at a 24 hour night stand where y'all talk for a day, then you fucked them? No, but I had a one. I mean, I, I knew somebody and. Had a one night stand? Yeah, like never fucked with them again after that. But as far as like meeting a stranger and then going home and fucking them, no. Like I no. gotta ask you a different question because like you kind of famous now like with your interviews you kinda, oh I'm famous you kind of famous how let is it navigating through the industry and like rappers and shit trying to talk to you in your DM and shit because I posted you it was scammers in my DM drug dealers uh, niggas that didn't count, caught full bodies why you didn't tell me you know what I'm saying so how is it like navigating that Let's see Lee being a cock blocker. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely is because you didn't tell me about none of the rappers, scammers, none of that. Like, where they at? No, let me stop. <laughs> but, um, no, I don't, I mean, I don't even, I, re I rarely even respond to like niggas in a DM for real. I don't, you gotta really be showing me something for me to, you know, be like, responding. Like what? Like, what you gonna do? Like, what are, what are we talking about? Like, what are you about? Because it's, if it's not, I mean, you, like, you know, like, what did you want? If you're not on nothing, then goodbye. Okay, what is nothing though? Like, nothing. Niggas don't be on nothing. They just be in a DM, want to <laughs> fuck. Like, I'm not. Do I look easy to you? Like, do I mean, it look you don't like know I'm? Finna... It would be easy these days, honestly. That's a good point. I'm not though. That's a I great mean, point actually. Like, that's a great point. It you know, it would be. I ain't gonna lie. It been some shit that nigga be like, damn, I wanna, I wanna get it. You know what I'm saying? When a nigga get it, it be like, <laughs> for that, yeah, yeah, it, was, it, ain't yeah. That. it ain't even that. Yeah, that's all that for that. That's definitely <laughs> crazy. What you got coming up, man? Tell tell the people what you got coming up, man. August 31st coming up and at the uh, Oakland Convention Center. You know what I'm saying? At the, at the Marriott, downtown Oakland. It's going to be number 13. Looking to get a 12th knockout. You know, looking upon a good event. You know what I'm saying? August 31st? Yeah, August 31st, man. You headlining? Headlining. The first one in the town. Trying man. To shit back to the town, man. Man, that's good, man. That's good that you you know, you know can still have fun, laugh, joke, nah, and sure. still take your career serious. Mm -hmm. Seem like you live... Like, you got your head on straight for a young nigga. Like, yeah, that's a sure. really, really good thing. Like... I'm an old soul. I, I get I'm an old soul a lot. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's important. Yeah, like I wouldn't have guessed you. I, I know you're young, but I wouldn't have guessed you was 22. Two yeah, young nigga. I just turned you know 22. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good, man. That's really, really good. You got a lot going on. Shout Are you excited you about your next fight? No, for sure. Definitely yeah. excited. I'm 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 super excited to um I'm gonna have to come to one. Maybe I could find me a little boxer nigga or something. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you're not coming to to this one? I can. Oh, yeah. Just, I thought that was the plan already. We didn't talk about that, but you can invite me. Oh, I thought that was just like, you know, already. Okay. You know? 
August 31st, we all going to be there. You know what I'm saying? We all, I'm going to be there. there. Oakland, California. Where, where your boxer partners at? They, they going to be there. <laughs> Everybody going to be around. <laughs> Fucking nerves, I swear. Why? Oh, why are you laughing? Why? I'm gonna point them out for. I'm like, yeah, oh, like right only the good ones though. So I mean, what that mean though? Like not the ones that's playing hella games, not the ones that's hella young, mm-hmm. not the ones that's on bullshit, none of that. Oh, the good ones. I thought yeah. you meant good as like they good boxers. No, 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 like good niggas. <laughs> so, so, like, so I say like you don't care like if they if they lose and all that. I don't give a fuck about that. Okay. So if a nigga got knocked out, you know what I'm saying, in front of three, four thousand people, <laughs> you wouldn't look at him different? Look at him. No, because it's like you win some, you lose some. You're not going to win every fight. Come on, y'all. Floyd Mayweather did. That's a good point. We're not talking about Floyd Mayweather. You from Oakland. As soon as you go home, nigga, you didn't raise your voice at that nigga that knocked you out last <laughs> oh night. Oh, my God. You won't throw that right now, nigga. Beat your don't say that. That's why a nigga beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, don't do that. Time. You need to go back to the hospital because you tripping. Yeah, you 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 gonna you gonna play with a nigga like that? All or nothing, nigga. Right, Where yeah. you from? From Oakland. All or nothing. Yep. Have a fucking Oakland niggas. Boy, gotta watch your wallet. It's cool. Would you buy into that brand? <laughs> I would. Okay. All or nothing. Honestly, that's like put it all on the floor. Come on. Absolutely. It's always a gamble when you do. How you feeling, King? You good? I'm straight for sure. I'm, I'm having a good time. My birthday tomorrow, so you know I'm fired. Oh, up. very Ooh, good. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yeah, sure. What y'all doing? What you doing? Um, rock climbing. I fly. Whole day just. Hold YouTube. on, you said I you fly. Said. What is that? Um, it's like the in, little in the place tube? you. In the yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. in the tube. I did yeah. that. I did that. I did, you did that. It was fun. Yeah, I did it. I did. I was okay. in Dubai. She was lit. Who uh, you going yeah. with? Um, I'm just going with my family, my uh, mom's pops, and my girl. You know. Moms and pops together, they hysterical, so I can't wait to see them on camera. They still together? Uh, they married, but they, they do their thing. They chilling. <laughs> what the they, fuck that mean? They have an open relationship. They do whatever they feel is right. And I hey, look, <laughs> what? whatever make them happy, that's what they do for sure. But they, they good, though. As long as that relationship is strong. I ain't gonna, like, not, not, not to like, disrespect mom, nah, but good. they swingers. Nah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, my mama got she she a worker. Oh, okay. she'll get in her worker mode. Oh, okay, and she'll okay. just be, you know, girls that get her and dedicate their life to their work to get money with the with the whoop. It'll be that more so get back and nah, she got too much morals. She raised me by herself, so you see how I am. I'm coming player, but you know, mm-hmm. my mama she come player all the time. Mac for Dre, sure. y'all saying she gangster. For <laughs> sure, for sure. So yeah, West Oakland. And uh, and you are currently in a relationship. Yeah. And how long you been in that relationship? Like five, almost six years. Okay. Where did y'all meet at? Uh, uh, Instagram. Instagram. How did you come? How did you come? Instagram you come? is like the new dating site. Yeah, I, I is, promise you. Because right. people will be yeah. like, like I'll tell you right now, I wouldn't get on a dating site. But if I met somebody on Instagram, I would probably date them. That's so crazy to me because I don't know this person. I ain't kind of fake. yet off Instagram. <laughs> I be shooting. You what? I ain't score yet off Instagram. You have it? I brick a lot on Instagram. You be shooting? Too. That's I what you said? Yeah. I brick a lot on Instagram. I can't even lie. I be nah, bricking. I, see, nah, no, no, no. I, Thank say, you. That's what no, I was no, going to no, say. No, no. So what y'all be saying? I ain't, I ain't score yet on a relationship. I, I, I be scoring on them, you know what I'm saying, the, the hits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hit it and leave it. You know what I'm saying? But what? on a relationship, I ain't score I ain't score yet. Nah, yeah, no, you that. you choosing the wrong ones, baby. I think that's I think that's what it is. Yeah, you for sure. You need to get you an older woman. Like, okay. so what as age, you, how do we come on Instagram? Because yeah. you scored on Instagram. How do we score on Instagram? Uh, sh- uh, damn. Okay, look, it was Instagram because my partner seen her on live or whatever, and he tapped me in with her. Mm-hmm. But me and him never hung out in the group. The two men we was supposed to do. So I ended up bringing somebody else with me. You feel me? So. That whole situation happened, and then me and her just started talking by ourselves and stuff like that. And it took a while, though. It took like three months to really. So hold on, you took another out. woman to a two like? No, 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 I took my partner. So it was a two man, right? Two, okay. And she had her friend. I had oh, one of my gotcha. So it was, it was like a like double date, date kind of. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. a double date. We was mm-hmm. going to the movies, and then after that, I just started kicking it with her more. She was working a lot, so she wasn't kicking it with her friend as much. So we really just dedicated ourselves to each other, and then it just kind of worked out. That's hard. How long That's did hard. you? It took for you to say you love her. Uh, it took me about damn two years. God huh? damn! Wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait! Damn. Did you say two years? <laughs> so oh. give us that. Oh! Hold on! Hold on! Get on camera! 
my bad. I didn't mean to say two years. <laughs> did you carry on me? So Oakland much? niggas be lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> lying like a motherfucker. Right, because uh, two years somebody, is crazy. It don't automatically be that love. You got to like them for being how they are. You got to like them for messing up. You got to like them from everything they do. Absolutely. So it's just not, I could say it. I told you that. You know, I could say I love you. But for me to be in full effect, you feel me when I'm saying it and I'm heartfelt. No, we asking, when did you tell her you love her? And she said three Honestly. weeks. You talking about two years. <laughs> that It don't add okay, up. so, all right, saying wise... Probably ASAP. Probably okay, so boy, you Oakland niggas be lying. Boy, it, boy, boy, boy. Yeah, right. It could be that. Okay. First time, okay. Honestly. We got him in the hot seat. You have the microphone up you to your chest. You don't need to lean. It's going to catch oh, you. Gonna still. Yeah. We ain't changing that. So, it took two years to lean it, you said? He to get in trouble. Absolutely. It's giving doghouse. For real. It's no, giving dog house. And that, it's his birthday tomorrow. Platform, it's know, his birthday man, tomorrow. Disney. Oh, yeah, my birthday tomorrow. I'm going to pass for that. <laughs> Don't try to change the yeah. subject. Birthday ain't there. no passes. Yeah. We ain't giving no passes. Thank you. Like, Come what? Again. We don't oh. give passes. <laughs> nah, but, but I, I love her. She she a good person. She pushed me to go for it, honestly. Y'all yeah. wouldn't see me right here if she wasn't Boy, way to clean it up. And right. And with me. Honestly, I'm <laughs> just going to keep it lit. It's time to clean up. It's just something that just, that just honest. She nah, honest I'm going to keep it real. Um, I like the way y'all support each other in y'all content journey. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? And it's, sure. it's very rare you see a, a, a man bring his woman everywhere on his journey. Right. And that's a beautiful thing, especially in the, if, in a... a Feels you in content and rapping, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and pushing a relationship and not out here trying to be some pimping. So that's dope, you know right. what I'm saying. I really, I really. Right. For sure. That's, that's tough. That's tough. That's dope. So um, yeah, we are gonna get you out the hot seat before you get your ass in trouble. Yeah, for sure. Cause we're gonna it's giving you. trouble. <laughs> it's it's giving doghouse. Like yeah. you sleeping on the couch tonight for real. <laughs> after what you said. So oh damn. Speaking of relationships. I'm going to start with you, AON. Would you have sex with your ex for $5,000? <laughs> no. Oh, you one of them rich niggas, huh? Boy, nah, boy, just, boy. Just, when you detach with somebody, it, it be that. For $5,000? $5,000 ain't that much, though. I ain't going to cap. For you sticking your parts in her, it ain't even worth it. While you hitting it, you probably feel disgusted. Like, bro, I came in. But five, man? That's not that Damn what your ex did to you. <laughs> like, man, what? I've been, I've been in a relationship so long, I don't, I can't even think of somebody oh, else. Like, I can't even just be on that type of subject or topic because I don't even shoot my shot. You know, even if a female come in my DM and say something to me right now, if it's sweet, if it's nice, like, oh, I like your content with it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And she got five bands. You going to take it? No. Five ain't that much. I was seeing so much money at a time. I'm helping my mama out. Helping I ain't going to lie though. Look, he ready to take the five bands right five. now. <laughs> That's what I got. Nah, but take the five bands. Not five thousand dollars. Take the five bands. I'm going to go spend it on my bitch. I mean, but then you know? you're feeling guilty at that I point. I ain't feeling guilty about shit. Well, I'm gonna so tell you. You don't love her then. No, she just no, whatever. no, no, no. Then you, no. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna tell my girl, hey, look, I ain't gonna lie. She gave it to me. Here you go. You ain't so you gonna give her the whole five? I might give her four. I just keep you it tricking. You tricking. You selling yourself short. How that's tricking? That's tricking. He said, "I'm gonna oh, I'm get the five. I'm gonna bring it back to her. I give her half." That's my. That's my <laughs> lady though. I, I ain't pimping on my lady. Nah, that's nah. Real? You know, you pipping yourself so, at that point. So, Haley, I got to ask you, Haley, would you sleep with that's an ex for $5,000? Which ex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which one? That's what really matters. Which ex? Your worst one. The worst one? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fuck her for the five thousand dollars, then all of a sudden your fucking foot fall off. You got diabetes and Wait, shit like that. Now, <laughs> you know what you I'm saying? You just took his way somewhere else. God be working like that. That's what you know you too far. That's what you do so fucked up and just where did diabetes come from? I know Shofar. She married and she wanted. You know what I'm saying? Give you the money. I mean, fuck you. I mean, because it's like if you knew, if you knew, then you kind of like. That's the covenant they made before God and you knew and you, and you interjected that's in that. Hurt, that's kind of, so, that's deep. So would you sell news for money? No, I wouldn't sell news for money. You? I don't know. Absolutely not. Nah. I would. Mm -hmm. You do that shit? No. Nah. <laughs> that's OnlyFans though. Like, you, know, only, nah. you got an OnlyFans? I'll make one. Uh, no, you got one. I'll make one. The way you talking. Coming soon. Yeah, tap in. Tap yeah. Make sure I think with that nude selling shit, you that like that shit stick around. Nah, and who sure. wants that when they 30, 40, 50 years old, your nudes all on the internet and your yeah, kids and like, grandkids gotta see shit like that. And at the motherfucking back to school meeting, they all looking at you crazy because they didn't see your nudes. That's funny. I don't mm. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Y'all think Kim K kids is affected by that sex tape? That's still, absolutely. You think they're affected yeah. by that? Absolutely. Good in a good way. I mean, she's so not rich. in a good way. Yeah, you know them kids, them kids so young, they don't even know about that. Honestly, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, but guess what? She's gonna grow. They're gonna grow older, sure. and they're gonna know about it. I'm on you your know, side. so by the time, by the time you're older and see that the technology, that shit gonna be pixelated. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Hey. Not at she all. She gonna look like pixels. <laughs> I don't wow. agree. I don't think no. Oh. What's is that? love enough to maintain a relationship? No. No. Mm -mm. What? What do we? What y'all mean? No. I don't no. get that. Why not? That's how because my, that's you can how love favorite. somebody and it, it's not it not work out like it not be what you want and not be everything like no love is not enough. I'm sorry. I can love you and I can not fuck with you. I promise you. <laughs> how that work? What do you mean? How can you love somebody? I can and, love like, you from a distance. I swear. I can love you from a distance. So, all right, I'm going to give you an example. So, if you can love somebody, but he broke, it's not going to work. No, it's not going to work. Sorry. But you love him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can't build what? up together? First of all, when I was 16, <laughs> yeah. But today, no. Like, what can I do with somebody that can't help me or can't contribute? Like, no. I'm sorry. No. Damn. AON, is love enough to maintain a relationship? I feel like she she said it all. Yeah. That's, she kept it lit. So give it. I mean, you the you the only one in a relationship here. Educate us outside of love. Wait, who what else said he was the only one in a relationship? <laughs> you said you was in a, you was in a situation. That's not a relationship. Oh, so okay. <laughs> I feel like, all right from a relationship standpoint. Uh, damn. Yeah, if you winning. No. You, no. What else winning, does that y'all y'all provide to each other outside of love that keeps your relationship strong? Uh, personality. We the same type of people. She just a girl version. Like everything I do, she she do type shit. It's not really monkey see monkey do, but like you know, I follow her lead too. You know, she very smart. She very headstrong, and I'm headstrong too. And she really know and touch with her feelings. Like you know, I could be oblivious to certain things, and she'll be like, "You always doing this, this, and this." And then I eventually be like, "Okay." I am doing that. Let me try to change that. And that's just trying to be a better person. Same thing with her. So if we willing and agree to be better people with each other, then I feel like that, that means a lot. But just off loving somebody and you got to drag them and then they don't got the same worth they get the ethic. They're not always on time or they cheating or they could be anything. That answer is no. I don't care how you twist <laughs> yeah. it and turn it. The answer is no. Like I can love you, but if you're not, pouring into me the same way I'm pouring into you or if you're not doing, you know, what I need you to do, what are, it's nothing. It's nothing. But that kind of sounds selfish. What, it's not. No, no, be, no. You should be with yourself. Honestly, you should love yourself more than anybody Absolutely. In the world. If you don't love yourself, who the fuck is going to love you? Exactly. But for what it if, to be like love, no. So love. what if you love, all right, I'm going to give you a different scenario. What if you genuinely love this person, mm -hmm. but they just got one too many kids? Is it right? <laughs> One too many kids? Yes. Like, let's what's, say your what's, limit what's is two, and what's he up? got four. But you love this man. He's oh, good to you. Oh. But he got a folk piece. Um, I don't feel like kids is like a deal breaker to me. Like, if you're taking care of all your kids, then fine. But... 
I ain't gonna lie. Shit, all them, all them things. Shit. Yeah. Four yeah, kids, crazy. that shit is a deal breaker for me. Ain't enough <laughs> love in the world. I don't give a fuck. Four so you wouldn't things. fuck with fuck nobody no. who got like six kids. Fuck no. What? A female with six kids? Hell no. Hell no. That's sis. What's up, sis? How you doing? How the baby's doing? How the decent <laughs> nephew? Ain't no motherfucking love. Love left the building after the first one. Oh. My, my limit is one. I deal with as much. Your limit is one. One, I got it. So what if she got two? Man. No? A it's a no? That's a lot. Like completely I'm a no. Her, if she got two, but she hit on EDD for like 300000 we going we gonna to work <laughs> for that. No, we can work no, through that. Small, no, even if she hit no, on no, EDD, that. it's we gone by now. That. Like, No, but look. Because look, it's like, if you got two kids already, and say we trying to get in a relationship and have kids, my first kid going to be your third kid. That's a lot. That's a no for you? That's but out. My what? first one going to be your third. Exactly. That's a no for you? <laughs> That's tough. That's but tough. what if she like on her shit? She got her shit together. My first one gonna be your third. <laughs> you can't if she got her shit together and her burby daddy dead, then yeah, that's a Stop go. Come on, that. Man. You always if that nigga <laughs> dead, Come then on. yeah, that's oh, a go. Oh, you agree with that? I, I, the baby daddy gotta they, be dead. They can't be around. If that nigga's deceased, oh hey, yeah, well, I raised the baby. I love. I just don't I understand why nigga. y'all want. A bitch with a nigga that is not taking care of the kids, nah. like. But why is she looking for gonna a relationship? And she much. already got kids. Like, what? The fuck? <laughs> So you in a club she's every night? She's not with the nigga. Why? She's got kids. What like, happened? She's like, why? I'm going to put my mouth If he's not that, dead or you know, gone or whatever, not like that disrespectfully. I don't, I don't, but it's like, saying. then where is he at? Is is you going to go meet him? He's you just got to drop your kids off. He's so you going to go see him. So oh, yeah, what? so he not around. So I'm I'm always with the kids. So they my kids. Kill them. Okay. Man, you owe your baby daddy. Shoot him. What? Shoot him dead. Get him out of here. If you want a relationship with a good man, nobody want to deal with that nigga. That's crazy as fuck. <laughs> like, if she got two kids, got some shit going with herself, and baby daddy's out the picture, we can work with that. You know what I'm saying? But if that nigga's around, and it's two baby daddies, oh, that's we just all the way fun. out. We just having fun. That's <laughs> we just super having out. Fun. <laughs> Multiple saying, niggas one, calling One, you. no, one kid. I can do the one kid. I can do the one kid. Have y'all ever seen somebody the... argue with their baby daddy? Have y'all ever yeah. witnessed somebody genuinely? Absolutely. Do you know how upset that make them? Like, it'll fuck the whole day up and it'll fuck your day up. Yeah. Because they are so upset by this person who is just so illogical and they're trying to get through to him. And now you got to sit there and be the counselor and your day going good, though. I'm having an amazing day. Right. Now I got to, oh, yeah, what'd he say? Oh, damn, yeah, he wrong. Fuck all of that and that nigga. I'm happy. This whole house going to be happy. If you mad, fuck you and him. Kill him. Wait, Shoot wait, him dead. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. GTA. We don't want to kill him. Yeah. Edit that, Taj. Yeah, that's. I'm yeah, serious, that's, but that, edit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's. that's <laughs> Please. We don't keep that baby. We don't want. We want these kids to have their dads in their life. What's the next? What's the next? <laughs> is it realistic <laughs> to expect someone in a long distance relationship to be faithful? Is it? Huh? Is it realistic? Is, is it realistic to expect somebody in a long distance yeah. relationship no. to be faithful? Meaning you, no. you yeah. in the Bay nah. and you dating somebody in Miami or New York and Atlanta. Hell no. Do you expect them to be faithful in this long distance relationship? Hell no. You could talk. I wouldn't even do no. a long distance relationship for real. I mean, that's a real thing because you know what a lot of people in, in the Bay is going through? Because a lot of people can't afford to live in the Bay, so they're moving to Houston. Mm -hmm. They're moving to Atlanta. They're moving to North Carolina. A lot of people are moving because the cost of living is cheaper. Yeah. So, but the person, they partner might got a good job here. They might got, you know, it might be sustainable here. So how does that work? It don't. Yeah. So you in a relationship? I got to stay with you. We got to live together. So y'all essentially would say, y'all would choose the your love over your career. Because if your career was taking you to North Carolina to make a livable wage and you can be able to stack money and do all that, you would turn that down to stay home with somebody you love? I mean, my career could go anywhere but for a normal person. Like, if you got a job. And a nine, we're talking about a nine to five. Most people work nine to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, it was a nine to five. I'll make it work if I love you. You would have to be long distance. Oh. It's a no. Yeah. It's a no? I ain't going to lie. So, it's so, a hard so, no. So, say in my situation, right? Because like, you be moving. You're a boxer. I be mm -hmm. moving around. But like for months at like like probably like two three months at a time, mm -hmm. would you would you think I'd be faithful? No. <laughs> and clearly, we already gathered that that's the truth. You're not faithful because no, 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 your no, bitch no. left you. No, no. Because no, no, you no, fucked no. around on her. So no, nah, but it was it, it was it, it wasn't it wasn't that it wasn't about? all that deep what though. No, 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 no. See now, <laughs> hey, clip that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta clip that. 
Let's go. That was there. funny as fuck. It's in there. Oh, that was so funny. No. Sorry. Because no, no, no. she don't give me mango. Oh, shit. She don't give me mango. Ooh, oh, nah, that but, was funny. Nah, but I ain't going to lie. Like, when I be moving around, like, for my boxing and stuff, like, I really be, like, locked in. Like, right now, I'm training, and, and like, I don't be doing... I be to the gym and home, to the gym and home all day, That's every it. day. That's real. No I, bitches. Nah. All day, every day. That's real. I work out. I work out literally. I wake up. I wake up. I eat breakfast. I go to the gym. I go home. I go back to the gym. I go home and I work out again. I now, don't have no time. Now, but you wasn't doing that when you was in a relationship, right? Because you was fucking with a bitch. do that all nah. year round. Even when they not in like, <laughs> boxing, he, he works. That or, nigga works. I ain't going to lie. That nigga works. relationships, though. Nah, I ain't going to lie. When, when, I, when I wasn't training, when I wasn't like training, I was with my girl. Yeah. Okay. So how does like, and this is a serious question because how do you maintain a relationship when you work a lot? Like we all in the content space now, and as our careers grow, this shit take a lot of time, effort, and energy. Absolutely. It takes a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do we maintain relationships when we have to dedicate ourselves to this because we don't know when the next opportunity come? Like you just had a sweetie interview. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't know when those opportunities are gonna come, and we might have to be to LA or to Atlanta. We might have to move. How do we maintain relationships when we kind of have to prioritize our careers? You gotta be with somebody that's. I was just to. gonna say, I think you just have to have a partner that's yeah. understanding of everything that you're doing. And you gotta be, you gotta know how to communicate. Absolutely. A lot of people don't know how to communicate these days, and I feel like that's the reason why, you know, a lot of relationships don't work because people don't know how to communicate. Definitely. And under so, understand. So that, this acts, I, I, this presents another question. Then, how long is somebody supposed to be understanding of your career before they be like, "Look, I want to go on a date. I need somebody to cuddle me. I want somebody to talk to consistently." How long is somebody supposed to be understanding before they be like, "I want somebody here"? It's hard to say. It, that's a case by case situation because it's like, yeah. it's like at the end of the day, it's like who's providing. I feel like you can still do those things and still, you know, be on your grind, still be sure. busy. And still make time for your significant other. For sure, like, for sure. I mean, with me, I'm clingy. I ain't gonna lie. I like hanging with my girl all the time. Too. We can she tell what I'm on too, so that's perfect. But y'all like, on the same field, rap. so that's good though. <laughs> she, yeah, y'all yeah, on the same me? field, so that's I, I be chilling. That's, that's a plus. I'm, I'm at work every day. Nah, that's, a plus. that's lit. That's for lit. Sure. That's that's that, I'm gonna keep it. That's really lit. That's really really lit. Now, how does it work, like? If she or if you want to go do something else, do do, do y'all always do everything together? Uh, we do it, yeah, pretty much. I could say I could give you a pros and cons to that. The con to it is, you know, you gotta trust that person when you're in your space to, you know, respect what you got going on. You know, play the background when you need to, or play the assistant when you need to, or you know, things in that nature. So she always helping me. You That's feel awesome. me in what I'm Hold doing. Dope. So it's like, you know, um, it's just it's just easy in, in my circumstances. But what I was saying with the con part is that, you know, um, you got to have a loyal person because somebody, she look at somebody else that got more than you because you're grinding to get somewhere. So you go be in places where somebody is bigger than you. And if she choose up or want to go talk to this person just because of the position that they're in in the room that you brought them to meet each other or whatever, networking. And um, yeah, back those situations could happen. But if she's loyal and, you know, y'all got to understand what y'all got going on. I don't, I don't know y'all's situation, but I'll say this. It, that don't seem like something you even worry about because it seems like y'all y'all genuine friends outside of the relationship. So you ain't worried about when y'all go in different rooms and she's looking at a nigga more famous or some shit like that. Right. Y'all got a genuine friendship. That's You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't, I don't, that don't even seem like something you worry about. But That's 100%. Let's move forward. <laughs> I got some out-of-pocket ass questions. Come on. Who's better sexually, your current situation or your older situation? <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna answer that, that cause you go I'm not answering that, that one because my joints huh? can watch this. Yeah, we're gonna start with you. What you got to say? The current situation or old situation? <laughs> that means it's the older nigga. Damn. That's what it is. <laughs> the ex nigga she had to hide her face so you know it's real. <laughs> the ex Damn. nigga better. That's cold. Okay, okay. Take notes. Damn. Oh, that's so Take cold. I didn't even book. say nothing yet. Like, okay. <laughs> that's cold. Damn, Damn, don't answer that. Yeah, yeah. We all gonna get in trouble. I was gonna say, can I plead the fifth? Right? <laughs> Celie, it's on you then. Plead the fifth? I'm taking I'm Oh man, that's you pleading cold. the fifth too? Hey, huh? You pleading the fifth? See, I ain't got no old situation. 
You don't have an old situation? Like like the one before my last one, I don't got one like before that. Like it was all just So you were single before that? Yeah. For years? Yeah. Really? You're only twenty two, so you yeah, was yeah, in high school yeah. not too long ago. Yeah, facts. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. We all gonna... You ain't probably start dating until what age? Yeah, I'm gonna say I, I plead my, the fifth on that. I ain't gonna lie, my, my last one was my I first I don't even wanna answer okay. that for real. <laughs> we so wrong. Uh, Ooh. My answer. Oh shit, go ahead. Yeah, you're not answering that, brother. Nah, it I said her. She I can't remember like Nobody else sex no more. Honestly, I really can't. That's you, good. you, you gonna see my video? She, she found me five minutes, five minutes. Oh my god! It's just something so cute. To. You, wow. I can't, I can't Think even about take it. serious in this hat for real. All right, see, Lee, hold on. Let me ask you. So, you, you single, right? You dating or what? You I, mean, I got situation. situation. Okay, you in a situation. And I All love right. her. All right, cool. So, <laughs> wait a minute. I love that. Wait, you I love ain't that. never say that. Come on now. Come back. And he said it in so 4K why, so, too. So why so why is so, not your, your your main thing? Like why, thank you. Why is it something, because something we spoke on earlier, love is not enough. Sometimes the situation in totality it don't ain't make enough. sense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the situation but, in totality got to make sense. So why say, okay. why say I, I love you then? Because she's an incredible person. Sometimes you can meet an incredible person, but the situation not right. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's true. All right. Who? Who? Oh, nobody came with us. It might be the photographer. Oh, the videographer? Yeah. Yeah, if that's him, let him in. Oh, yeah, just open the door, open the door. All right, so uh, what I was, my question to you is, all right, you're single, or you're you're in a complicated situation. If you're going out to the club and you meet a girl and she bad, you feel me? She out your league type stuff. Yeah, but she know. letting you mess with her and you, you come back to the crib, y'all done had a few shots, and you thinking about the sex already, you, and you can't get hard or something like that, or are you trying to think of situations? How how would you play that? Well, I've had a rough night before, okay. uh, and sometimes you just got to hang uh, it up. A rough night is a night where you couldn't get hard. Yeah, I've had a rough night before. Absolutely had a rough night before. I'm not gonna sit on this on this podcast and lie. Yes, I've so had a what, rough night before. What is, what is that about? Like, what, so, how, sometimes what you just be too. That? Sometimes you just be too anxious. You be nervous because yeah. you want to put on a good show. You know what I'm oh, saying? You be like, make I, you be like, yeah, and just be like. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes you just don't, you know, your spirit, like, this ain't the one. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I didn't had a rough night before. But ask your question again, because I didn't understand it in totality. You saying if I bring a woman home, right? then what? So I, I'm, I'm basically saying when you always having sex with new people, and it's, it's sometimes hard to get aroused. But if you familiar with it, you could get aroused at any time. That's true. So that's that's why I'm saying like the performance wise. That's why the sex could be better because you could always know how you know that sensation go feel. So you you getting hard all the time versus you nervous like damn I gotta go to the bathroom real quick and go turn on Pornhub or something or like do anything like that just trying to get did harder you, and keep your hand in your pocket you, or something. Did or try you to, just you say me? go to the bathroom and turn on Pornhub? Like yeah, when you having a rough it, night, you trying everything. Just, well, when yeah. you having a rough night, you got to try pretty Honestly. much everything. Honestly, you gotta pluck it. You got to yeah. <laughs> get that shit. Come on, my nigga, get right. I ain't, gonna, I ain't, had, I ain't had no huh? rough night. Hey, give it time, brother. <laughs> give it time. No you give still young, time. though, oh, but gee. going to the bathroom and turning on Pornhub is crazy. Like, you, you got to go to that go to. You to get hard. Yeah, you need to get the fuck out of here. I did, like, so. What? Was, I'm, I'm sorry. Come on. You I had a rough night. Before. You, you got to be a boy to know. See, with women, you could probably spit on that thing. You feel me? Oh, ain't you no, go you to don't, you. I don't need, you don't need no. Let me, <laughs> let me bring it down. Let me, but you don't need no spit. I'm sorry. Okay. Spit start. Did you say spit I, on I, it? Like, I'm just saying. If he, he it's ready. already like dripping. But okay, let me So be what about the dudes that don't do foreplay? He trying to poke it. You feel me already off the rip. You talking to me? Yeah. De I don't. Foreplay, like yeah, they not doing foreplay. They see you, ooh, grab on that booty, probably real quick, and then they trying to hit. Like, what's up, twin? Not, not Did you every, hear me say it's every, already dripping? Already, like, you walking around all day just faucet on. Absolutely. All right, I give like, you that. All right, let's move forward now. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's move forward before people get up here saying anything. If your partner contributed to your financial success. Are you obligated to financially compensate them? Compensate them if y'all break up? No. No. Oh, y'all fucked up. Like, what? oh, we gotta argue. It's, now. it's, Wait a minute. it's, it's pimping. So that is fucked if all the you way can up. It's pimping. A little bit to my success <laughs> that I am obligated to take care of you. If this, I'm gonna keep it real, and I ain't shit. 
But if a woman sat there with me year after year helping me build my empire and then we decide to break up, I will not say I'm not giving you shit. She's entitled to something because she helped me build this. I ain't gonna What's lie. she entitled to? I ain't gonna lie. What she helped build? Something. I ain't saying give her half, but yeah. she's entitled to something. I ain't gonna I lie. Me? It's pimping. <laughs> you want to be a pimp so bad? <laughs> and you're like two years old. So you saying no? You, Hell you, nah. That's fucked up. You don't get nothing. That's fucked up. <laughs> my if, shit. You if she's sitting there massaging you, helping you with your <laughs> marketing and promotion, helping you build your brand, making flyer, if she's just simply contributing to the brand of Amari Jones. Then we gonna still be together. Mm, true. That or not. Sometimes that shit don't be working. Shit don't, we still gonna be together. Shit falls apart. And we gonna make it work. Yeah, I, we gonna make it work. Sometimes something. you can't make it work. Sometimes I feel like I, I feel like it, it's a it's if there's a way, it's a will. I mean, if it's a will, it's a, whatever, however you say. There's a, if yeah. there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it ain't no will or no way. So look, I'm gonna put a number out there. If somebody, if your ex helps you genuinely make a hundred thousand dollars, how much is he entitled to? If Nothing. he helps you, Nothing. You're not serious right now. You're not serious right now. You're not serious. Entitled is crazy. Like he helped you get it. Ain't he's entitled to something? Entitled is insane. No, because people, if you're helping out of the genuine kindness of your heart, you're not entitled to a motherfucking thing. I'm sorry. You're not entitled to anything. But will I help you? Yes. Will I, you know, give you something? Yes. That's entitled. No. In Oakland, that means $1,500 out of that 100000 That's Maybe. exactly what that means in Oakland. That Maybe. means $1,500. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Like, like, I'm asking like, you the same question. If yeah. she helps you make 100000 how much is you giving her if y'all if y'all stop dealing with each other completely? She helps you make 100 How much she get? Nothing. Oh, y'all. Oh, he said Y'all nothing. going to hell. I'm praying for y'all tonight. Nah, but I ain't going gonna to lie. H-E-double like, like, hockey like, stick. Yeah. Like, like, Listen, though. Like, you're like, saying you entitled. Saying? And That's you're not crazy. entitled to a motherfucking thing. I don't care That's what you're talking about. Crazy. But will I help you? Will I, you know, give you some money? Yes. But entitled? You're not entitled yeah. to anything. You might, you might, you might definitely you be on that list of like people like they looked out for me. I'm, I'll look out for exactly. you. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Thank you. That is so wrong oh, to me. Yeah. Come on now. That is so yo. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you before I answer. Uh -huh. If if your lady helps you make a hundred thousand dollars and y'all stop talking, y'all break up is what over. Is she entitled How much to? she entitled to? How much are you going to give her? Okay, so I put it in this aspect: if a hundred thousand dollar check hit a, a, a fake check or whatever hit in the account tomorrow, and her shit or whatever, she give me the cash or something like that, I give her ten. Oh my god! <laughs> you Oakland niggas is real scandalous. We broke up. This is crazy. Probably, we broke up. Hell, no. ten thousand dollars. She helped you make a hundred. I get nine. You, you gotta give six. something that yes. it don't hurt you to get. I'm gonna keep it That's real. So what, what you supposed gonna, to do? You get half hurt. or what? No, that my hurt. number was thirty. You helped me make a hundred, and we stopped talking. Here, I got thirty for That's you. Thirty percent. That's thirty percent. Thank That's you for taxes. helping me. You know California. what I'm saying? That's That's thank you for helping me good, man. because California. Nobody else taxes. was helping my ass. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Like here, and it's just money. Like I think anybody who helps you get to a certain point or builds you up or help you put some money in your pocket. Even if y'all fall out, you you can you owe them something. You can something. You got to give some, and not just no kibbles and bits. Something respect. You can lead a like. horse to the water, but you can't make him drink it. Man, that's but if crazy. it was if it was in that situation where the, the money was if free and it hit thirty is count. cool. Like that ain't hella much. Take this thirty. All right, go about your business. You only okay. left with seventy. That's still seventy. She helps you get. And she helps you get to that. You know what you I'm saying? Zero. All right. I could. I could do I, that. Woo wee, boy. I'm praying for y'all. <laughs> it's a no. Okay. Speaking of gifts and money, if your ex gives you an expensive gift, would you return it if it made your current partner feel uncomfortable? For example, a vehicle. Mm -hmm. If your ex gave you a car, you know what I'm saying? And would you return it if your current were like, I don't want to be driving in a car that some other nigga got you? No. We both in here. We mobbing in that right. motherfucker. We been yeah. here kissing shit. And if you have a problem with that, then you need to go buy us a car. Like what? The yeah, fuck? she donated. She drive that. It's pimping, y'all. <laughs> oh. Like or some jewelry or something like that. Nick got you a chain. You know what I'm saying? And it got your name on the front, but his initials on the back. That shit. I'm stashing. And that if your dude felt the way, like you know what I'm saying? Like nah, you got a you wearing a chain with another nigga initials on the back that you don't fuck with. I don't like that. I'm go snatching it. One. Yeah. No, go pawn it. Snatching that. Go buy me one. Go oh, pawn it. Hockey. What is wrong go with y'all? Give me one with your money. initials or shut the fuck up. Like what are you talking about? That's a, you grind, you know just out of pocket. A nigga buy another nigga buy you a chain, or your ex nigga buy you a chain. You just out of pocket. 
That's out of pocket. To be wearing yeah, okay. that when you got a whole lie. new nigga, it's out of pocket. I ain't gonna lie. It if depends a bitch come into the chain. relationship with a chain like that, <laughs> I'm gonna snatch that motherfucker. <laughs> but how would you even know? Like T.I. You, know? you, know? you gotta figure it out. <laughs> in relationships, you gotta yeah. be honest. You gotta tell them everything. First of all, I'm not going into a relationship like, oh, my nigga bought me this chain. Like, what? Why? But you, I'm the type of nigga, I wanna know about your past. Nah, 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 but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, like, like if he bought it for you, whatever is a piece, that's cool. But like with the initials on it and all that, like Niggas something sentimental, that. like oh, that's out. nigga put his record label on the that's back out. or some shit like yeah, that. That's out. Got you wearing oh. shame. <laughs> Fuck all that. Take this shit <laughs> off. Record label. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Them rich niggas love starting record labels and getting. <laughs> <laughs> Get the that's the first thing they buy is chains. <laughs> oh shit! Let's get one more. Oh shit! Who is more respectful of people when they're in relationships, men or women? Women. Oh, I disagree. Niggas don't give a fuck. I, I'm sorry. You ever seen how women act when they find out they got some money? They be going. <laughs> what? Fish. They be going. That's Fish, I'm telling you. Women who going. don't have no money on their own. like That's true, too. I ain't gonna a lie. bitch who got some money don't give a fuck about a nigga who got some money. That's a lie. That's, That's a true. lie. It's women not. with money only deal with other niggas with money because they hate yes. dealing with broke niggas. Yes. But I mean, women like, with money love be- niggas with money. I seen Jada. And it's not interview. that many. That's why they be flocking. Jada said in an interview, she said she ain't fucking with no broke nigga. <laughs> That's what? 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 Jada, like, nah, what? I'm, no, I'm just saying though. You never know what a nigga situation might be. So who is more respectful of people in relationships? Men? Women. Oh. I already said that. I say men. You think so? I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I'm just I don't. Because when a man uh, focus and he hair strong and he know what he want, he go make sure that his woman don't feel no type of way in any kind of room. He go open the door. He go dedicate his life. Men put their life on the line for their women every single day. Something happening to her right now. I'm on that. You yeah. feel me? So, man, for sure. I'm saying men because there's a it's, it's a certain level of violence that come with dealing with certain niggas with women. Mm-hmm. Like some niggas know, like even though a nigga gonna try to keep it super player, they know if I fuck this nigga bitch, it's gonna be a shootout. <laughs> For sure, it's gonna be a real shootout, and this nigga gonna really try to get on me. So <laughs> niggas be different. really keeping it cool, you know what I'm saying? That's like different. I ain't sparing shit. Come I ain't sparing shit. He said, <laughs> "Come get up with me, nigga. You mad about this bitch, nigga? <laughs> Up, and she do it then cut her off. Yeah, See, she, that's the, she gotta that's be the young nigga too. In be, that's mad, be mad at the bitch, nigga. Don't be mad. Hey, at that's gotta true. be. That's very true. No, facts. That nah, is very true. I'm gonna speak for myself on that. I'm gonna say women. Why? I say and and me personally, I'm I'm naturally like a person that's like I'm cool and I gotta attract fans. Like you know what I'm saying, this is the field I'm in. So Makes like. Sense. Even even to turn up turn my nose up to like a female or something, it's a it's a level of, you know what I'm saying, of how you make them feel like at the end of the day. Like it could be a high or you know what I'm saying, keep it pushing, like something like that. But like to make them feel like they got a chance with you is a different level. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't get nobody the, the, the chance. Even if they in their head they might think they got a chance just off a conversation or whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. The whole time they know we got a chance for it. That's right. well, that's yeah. what I feel like. That's yeah. what I feel they like. Play games no matter for sure. Sure. You know so look, we all active on social media. Are are we comfortable with being in a relationship with somebody, but they present themselves as single on social media? Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, yeah, even no. though it's just social media is what a lot of people say. Absolutely not. Why? Because if I'm fucking with you and you're on Instagram saying you're single, <laughs> what are we doing? No. What are we doing? Is they verbally saying they're single or are they just not posting the other person? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say they verbally saying it. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, that's it's a no. Hell, that's out. Yeah. Because you're not claiming me on social media, but we together in person. Like, no, you're doing it for a reason. It's yeah. a no. Ain't y'all? Are y'all you putting have, too much emphasis on social? It's just social media. If they really yeah, love you, yeah, but no, in, in but it's life, like you're posting everything on social media, but you can't post your relationship. I ain't even saying no. to that. If you if you on there and saying, oh, I'm single and all that, yeah, no, you you looking to attract someone to come get at you. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But if if you're on social media and you might not, you just might not be posting a relationship, I don't mind that. Like, you keep, I feel like it's keeping somebody Yeah, that's business. different. Yeah. Not posting versus saying I'm single. Yeah. Like, no. If you're, if you're saying on social media that you're single, bitch, you're single. No, for we sure. We ain't got nothing to talk about. I'm a, it really depends because if she rich and she really love me because the oh, money matters. Oh, here we go. Oh. I'm going to keep it real. The money matters. I'm not... What? I'm not going to break up with this rich ass, fine ass, thick ass bitch just because she on social media building a brand talking about she's single. Because it's money and just being single and making niggas want you. It's yeah. a go for me. Yeah, go ahead. Tell them niggas you single. 
fuck are six ways to Sunday? Because it's just social media. If, that depends we, on what field. Nah, we we would be hypocrites if we say like, nah, it's just social lie, media, right? but yeah, then nah. be like, oh, it's social media. But if it's social media is fake and not real, then we can't get mad if somebody doing some fake shit on social media, nah, but they being sure. real in real life. But look, but look, I ain't going to lie. People these days will want you more if you're in a relationship. That's kind of a good point. Mm-hmm. No, that's definitely. So, point. so that's you don't even gotta point. post that you're single. You don't even gotta say, "Oh, I'm single. I'm single." You thirsty? That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's a good For point. For sure. So look, uh, I got a couple it, more. We gonna get out of here. Thirsty. Are y'all really? staying with somebody that your family does not like at all? Your family mm-hmm. like this ain't it. I, uh, I'm cool. This that's out. tough. Are you staying with them? That's very. Are you tough. staying with somebody? I'm gonna my mama don't like you. It's a rap. I ain't gonna even see that. Oh, my mama says it. it's, it's a rap. No, nah, I'm my own person. Nobody can tell me what yeah, to do. I'm a grown man. Now, like yeah. that though, I take advice for yeah, everybody. I, must, I have to say no to. Like, there may be something that you don't like, but if I love this person, would it? Yeah, it's no comparison. Do y'all have a lot of family events? Because I have a lot of family events. If I can't I bring my, my yeah, situation, I don't, I don't. I do not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, so, that's tough. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, what my family? No. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, let's do one more. Let's Can do... you please take this head off? Because it's fucking driving me insane. It's my shit. Okay. Like, it's giving rodeo for real. Is it, mm. the, is it a black rodeo? I want to go. Yeah, like, it's mm. giving. <laughs> <We're... laughs> that thing on there. You was going to. It's, it's it won't there. even come yeah, off. Yeah, it's on there. <laughs> it won't even... <laughs> it won't it's out. giving rodeo. Like, <laughs> what? Can I, can I ask a question real quick? Please. Is there anything you want to try sexually but haven't because you were too scared or nervous? No. Mm-hmm. Not really. Not at you know all. What I'm <laughs> Not really. What about look, you could tell him I could tell you right now his <laughs> answer is yes. I can tell you that right now. No, nah, it is for sure. Okay, so what was it that you wanted to try that she, that you that she didn't want to try? No, oh. that she was nervous about trying. Yeah. Nervous about asking her. A threesome. <laughs> it could be stuff like that or trying to lick somewhere. I, no, mean. I ain't licking nowhere else but the pussy. No, I'm saying I she. No booty. <laughs> she. She. You say you're not you, licking you nowhere like, else? I'm not licking nowhere else but that pussy. I'm not doing all that. So you don't like eat ass? No, I'm not even playing. You got to be in it. I put my oh. thumb in it, but I, I ain't doing, put my face nowhere near it. What so, are you doing? It gotta be. Oh, yeah. It gotta be clean. Definitely, definitely. Fuck is my candy way over there. Definitely a um a threesome though. Yeah, for sure. Threesome. What's up with niggas and threesomes? Like, y'all be wanting to have threesomes in? Nah, cause it's like as a nigga, it's like as our nature. That's like y'all fantasy. Nah, as our nature as a man mm-hmm. is to be like, like to be able to dominate women. So to be able to dominate is to be able to have multiple. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. so how long is you lasting though? Hey, two of them. I could two one seconds. better than the other. I'm about to hit the other nah. one the longest. Get mine's off the nah. best. The other one just got a lick. <laughs> she look at everything. So you be having threesomes? No. Oh. Nah. Okay. I, I I uh when I was in high school, a girl was trying to have one with me, but I was nervous. How old what are you, you nervous for? Cause two uh, of them, you, you like, the man, I, can't get, I can't get up real quick. Are you, you can't it be, get up? It be shit like that, bro. You like say. if a girl own you more, you ain't. Uh, you probably have had a girl want you more than you want her. Sure. It's a difference. Like it pull be, it out on gummy worms. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 please, no, no, no. But no. if you it depend she on you, that bad? no, 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 no. <laughs> nah, that's fact. Gummy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Well, Please. so you see something on soft, you ain't fucking with it? <laughs> if it's a grower, you know what I mean? Not a shower. You got to grow no, a little five minutes. No, just, that, don't mean, that don't mean you a grower because it's on gummy worm. I, I cannot. I'm sorry. It happens. One of the things uh, I want to try sex is I want to get paid to have sex. I want a woman to give me like 10000 oh What? <laughs> I, I don't so know. So you want to be a prostitute? I want to really think about it, though. I, It sounds crazy, but I really, I you know, I really list. grew up, you know, around pimps, and I really fuck with pimps, and... So the way they talk about it, like, nigga, yeah, she sat the trap on the table, you know what I'm saying? Then I gave her some <laughs> pimp dick. That shit be sounding like what? heaven, like, oh my God, she gave you 10,000, bro? Yeah. yeah, the other bitch gave me 20, you know what I'm saying? So During you, that EDD shit, so you niggas get- was getting $40,000 and fucking these scamming ass bitches. I said, oh, Lord, why I missed that? What? 
I swear to God, I can call like two niggas right now. They was like, yeah, she gave so me 40. So you want to get paid in. to fuck. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I, that's one of my fantasies. What, what if she had a diaper on? She'd be like, I got 10 what right now, fuck? young man. A diaper? He's had a fuck. That, she an older woman. She got 10. A diaper? I ain't going to lie. You ain't going to give a nigga 10 bands to y'all know what I mean? I ain't going to lie. What am I giving a nigga 10 bands for? Like, the nigga need to pay me. Like, what? I ain't going to go to the extent of somebody with a diaper, but definitely, definitely. <laughs> uh, a fantasy is to definitely hit like a like a like a um like it's old, I always say older than a cougar for real like oh, you know man. some so I, I can get her a pension you know what I'm saying okay <laughs> put, you try put me in her wheel you try to wait till she die yeah. you probably put a shirt on put me in your wheel okay. you know what I mean damn 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 get her pension like what something like that like, you something like to, that you yeah. want her pension yeah come on <laughs> nah put you me put me in your wheel like so like what? When you when you, when you die, look, look, when like, you die, right? What? When you die, and your family, your family be looking at your will. They be like, "Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Who is this nigga?" No, <laughs> and I and I it's... just come and I just come in the office like, "Yeah, you know, we've been doing this for so, quite some time now." <laughs> Bro, and, like, you know, she <laughs> told me all about you guys, and you know, just something like that. That's like some real movie shit, right? There. Right, wow. he going all the way. Yeah, yeah. This or no? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the nigga yeah. said your pension. Real. Yeah, put me in a pension. It's a no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's our time. This was fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, the pension is crazy. <laughs> Y'all gotta have us back over here for show. I'm never. I, the pension? You <laughs> said it right. I'm telling you. All right, Taj, you can wrap us up, brother. Peace and love. He say, she say. I'm C Legal for the people. That's, that's another Hayden. episode. That's some more Jones. That's All AON. I'm C Legal for the people. It's been real, and we're out of here.